night sports of course with me Ronje Kusimba it's another Monday night and when it's Monday night it's full of sports you know the weekend has also been full of sports and just today I did this intentionally because of Italy before we start things up is that Italy I don't know how we were knocked out of the World Cup 2022 Qatar and I don't know why or uh, even I don't know how we will be watching at home rather than watching in Qatar for my Italy guys but it was so unfortunate not Macedonia not Macedonia I never knew that was your capability of doing what you did I was just having a banter with one of my friends over there and he told me you know what not Macedonia is in a position to even uh, it can be clobbered by Kenya that is Harambe stairs but we all know our story here matters local but just a reminder that tomorrow Portugal versus uh, North Macedonia another 2022 World Cup qualifier match ah uh, I don't know what to tell you guys but you know Portugal Cristiano Ronaldo himself uh, Aroro will be in that specific match so another big one to watch out for here Monday Night Sports. Of course, today, you know, you can be part of this lovely airing by trickling in your SMSs and also your comments down our social media platforms across every social media platform, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and uh, which one else did I not mention? YouTube at Switch Media. Get interactive as possible. So as uh, the common phrase goes, uh, your 30 minutes of sporting action starts now now to start us off let me just start by friends of monday night sports this one i mean ferdinand omanyala just sent you guys something that uh, you should be in the lookout for because he was telling us in regards to what we should expect from him this specific year you know he went uh, to belgrade and we saw him uh, shine in the 60 meter dash and uh, this is what ferdinand omanyala had to say hi guys uh, Ferdinand Omanyala here. Uh, it's been a good start of the season. I'm just coming back from the World Indoor Games and running the World Indoors was the perfect thing that I could ever do because I was just going there to sharpen my 60 meters so that it, I have a good start over the 100 meters. So looking forward to the outdoor season, I know it's going to be great because I'm really excited <laughs> about it. I already ran the 10.00 flat on, in March like three weeks ago. And I believe that's going to go down each and every time I'm going to compete. So looking forward to championships coming. I have the police championships next week and then the national championships later that month. And then going out to the Diamond League season and then the Commonwealth Games, the World Championships and the African Championships again. So it's, it's, a, it's pretty a busy season, but I believe it's going to be a good one. And thank you so much Switch TV for always putting me on the front line because you know it's a, it's a station that we started together and they have seen my growth since before people knew me actually and thank you for always giving me coverage and i believe that i'm going to make you proud and thank you to the also the switch tv family and looking forward to better and looking forward to better times this year thank you and still on friends of monday night sports uh, this one i just prepared specifically for you guys because you are the best of the bestest if that's even a word and of course janet okelo aka shebesh just a week after being in the team that was the first women's kenya cup title holders for the first time in kenya this was the first kenya cup women's title winners janet okelo scored two tries in that specific encounter where they had to lock horns with impala winning at 10 15 a narrow scoreline and janet okelo has gotten a call up in a Japanese team, it's Pearl Women's Rugby Club, which makes her, which makes her the first Kenyan, first Kenyan to play in to play pro rugby in Japan. Now Janet Okello, I just caught up with her and told her because she'll be traveling to Japan. But I told her Monday Night Sports fans need to get something, need to get a gist of what you will be doing that specific season, or rather how you feel about getting this specific call up. And this is what Janet Okello had to say. My name is Janet Okello, Kenya Leonesis captain and member of Sea Ladies captain. About the opportunity to go to Japan, uh, what I can say about the contract is I'm so privileged and it's an opportunity for me as an athlete to go further and further for my career. And also what I can say about my pl plans in future is I want to see myself far 
apart from contract, I want to see myself as an icon of the Africa. And also to encourage young, young girls to get into sport and explore their talent. Uh, about Kenya Cup, what I can say is I'm so proud of, of the girls. They really came out and they really wanted it. As a captain, I feel so proud of them and I'm so happy about the future in Kenya Rugby League. Thank you so much. Now, still on Matters Rugby, it was the weekend and you know when it's Saturday, Saturday is a rugby day. And of course, the Enterprise Cup is going on and Impala made it to the semi-finals of the Enterprise Cup because it was a big match. Nakuru RFC Wanyore, popularly known as Wanyore, were up against Impala, the Impala Club. That game, huh? I got a chance to be, uh, I was there with uh, also my director, super director, Bobby himself. Alikuwa pale na called the beer just to get a gist of what goes down in a rugby weekend. And uh, this is, uh, these are the scenes of what went down. And when we'll come back, I will be telling you what the coaches had to say in regards to this specific encounter. But the scores were 2016 in favor of Impala. Now, Felix Olo, head coach Nakuru, had this to say, together with Oscar Osira, the main man for the Impala Saracen squad. This is what they had to say about that specific encounter. Remember, it was a tough one for Impala because the dying moments of that game, Impala had to dig deep and also defend for the better part of the eight minutes. Yossi Omchezo, let's just get to hear what the coaches had to say in relation to that. I think we lost it in the second quarter. What we consider that try, uh, which was a game changer in the whole situation. I think uh, we would have done better if we were much more disciplined, but I can't take it away from Impala because they really wanted a game more. You know, uh, coming down from 13 hole, then here you are leading, then you losing it at the final minute. Uh, it's not that good, so they really gave their all, and uh, uh, I congratulate them for that. You have to make a sub immediately in the second half. But what was critical was that we scored the five points before halftime, so just away at halftime. And uh, that meant we were chasing eight and not 13 points. And then immediately made those four subs. Um, you know, Antonio Diambo came in at 15. Because we weren't fielding. You know, the, Nakuru, the, the main thing they had was the kicking, the ball gets just on the floor and then it goes all over the place. So once we dissolved that, I think we removed some potency from the attack. And then that allowed us to come into the game. What? It was tough. It was tough. I can bear witness because I was there at the stands watching the likes of Quinto Ongo, Elkins Musonye, who was also a, the big man and the main man who put them in the game. Remember, Impala Saracens had to dig deep and had to come back in this encounter. It's a big one for them. Nakuru, they came in and they brought the likes of uh, Kinadia Lupo Pale. We also saw Don and we also saw Huntington Wabwire coming in and stamping authority as a big man and also as a Mubaba in that club. And uh, Felix was not happy because something I can say for a fact is that Nakuru brought in a lot of young tacks who had the game in control, but they lost it simply because they blinked. And you blink, you die. Because that is how bad rugby can be sometimes. But we also appreciate the fact that we saw the likes of Oscar Uma uh, in that particular encounter. Now, I don't know. He's still in Kenya, so we don't know if he has a surprise for us because we should see him in one of these encounters. I really miss seeing that guy play. Of course, we know the squad, the seventh squad, Kashia Somolo. We know Kwame Owino, his brother, and also Osko Uma. And also the man himself, Jamal Wills Pale, and Ajulikana Kama Nelson Oyo. Who wouldn't want to see Nakuru play? Wanyore, Wanyore to the core. So now, switching our gears to Martyrs Golf, this was the Kenya Golf. Uh, I, let me first start with the Safaricom Golf Open because this is a tournament that has been put in place to ensure the equalizer is there because most of the guys here in Kenya think that golf actually is for the elite guys. But of course, Safaricom just came in because of you, just to tell you that golf isn't for the elite in the society, but it's just a, it's just a game that anyone can play. And uh, they were up because it's a competition that uh, in conjunction with the National Caddy Association and also young golfers in, in Kenya, you know, caddies are those guys who carry the bags for the people who are playing golf at that specific uh, 
uh, that specific trade. Now, the Cadiz and the Kenya Young Golfers Association came together in this particular tournament. This is the Safaricom Golf Open Tour. And yesterday, it was in Nyanza, and uh, Lydia Chebichi emerged the winner. Let's just get the scenes of what went down and also just uh, some sayings of uh, how the competition was yesterday in Nyanza. Being the first lady to win the, the Safaricom Golf Tour, um, I'm expecting to, to, to put up a good fight with the gentleman yeah, and probably emerge the winner too. There. He was uh, number 62, Kibugu. Kibugu is the name. I don't know why I keep on confusing that particular name. Joroge, the young tech who impressed and also was number one among golfers here in Kenya at the magical Kenya Golf Classics, which uh, we saw him impress. Now, they're out in Egypt, Cairo. They traveled on 26th and they are currently playing because it's the All Africa Junior Golf Championships which are going on in Cairo, Egypt. And guess what? NOC National Olympics Committee here in Kenya did them good because they gifted them with kits and also specific merchandises to keep them going throughout the tournament. This is what they had to say earlier on before they left to Egypt, Cairo. Let's just get a listen to what they had to say. Uh, we prepared well uh, with Jiguna leading all the practices and uh, yeah, we hope to perform. We will perform. We promise to bring a trophy back and yeah thank you now let me drop you all the way from egypt now take you to mombasa kenya here nyali where we all know the beach the, there is the beach volleyball going on in that particular area and of course not just the beach volleyball because there is also the beach handball and uh, one thing about these tournaments there is usually a tournament that is put in place also beach sevens rugby but that is not for today because these competitions in turn take us to the Olympics and also the World Cup. But the Kenya women's, uh, the Kenya, not the women's alone and also the men, the Kenya Beach Volleyball team, Team Kenya, is currently playing in Mombasa. And uh, just to keep you in light is that Kenya has qualified for the semis. The Kenya women's team will be up against Ghana and also the men's team will be up against South Africa. Let me just give you a sneak peek of what goes on in the beach park. For those guys who are used to going to Mombasa, this is what you should expect to see when you go to Mombasa. Let's have a look. Okay, some good stuff. Now I'm sure this is the moment you all have been waiting for the Formula One. Yesterday, it was the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix and it was mad and bad. We all witnessed the other week Bahrain where we saw pole position, something that was unusual. We saw the likes of Nicolas and also Carlos Sainz coming in with Lewis Hamilton coming in at number three. Now this time round, the tables were turned. The man from Red Bull himself, Max Vastepe. I was told the pronunciation of this name is Max Vastepe. <laughs> A good one. Now, Max was up winning the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix. And also at number two, we saw the man himself, Charles Leclerc. Now, I think there is a rivalry between Leclerc and Max Verstappen and the person who made this rivalry possible is Lewis Hamilton who finished at number 10. Now Charles Leclerc is taking in the slot of Lewis Hamilton in fighting the man himself, the Red Bull guy, Max Verstappen. I think Formula One is becoming more amazing. Now we are in and gassed up for the next the next round which will be in 10th uh, which will be 10th April that is the Australian GP. And Australian GP is also going to be mad. And after that one, we're also going to see the Emiliana, the Emilia Romagna. I don't know why I'm saying Emiliana. Emiliano, Emiliano, but it's Emilia Romagna, which is going to follow the Australian Grand Prix. Now, one thing about this is that Lewis Hamilton came in at number 10. 
and he started the qualifiers. He finished at number 15. That was the first trial that was on Saturday. Now on Sunday, he came in at number 10. And this is a big shock because Hamilton pointed out and stated that uh, the Mercedes team, there is a hitch over there. And he mentioned that they should work on it because it really costed them. But uh, he did not say and he did not mention that he will be leaving. He just mentioned that there was a hitch because they are struggling. We are seeing the likes of uh, their drivers also struggling. George Russell, they are struggling in to finish. Now he finished at number 10. They also struggled in during the Bahrain Grand Prix. And uh, this is what he has pointed out. And I also saw a meme about him being told by the radio man that uh, Lewis, it's a good finish. You are at number 10. And he mentioned and he replied to him. Is number 10 even awarded a single point because he didn't know that is unlike Lewis Hamilton but I'm predicting he won't come back in the Australian GP which is Sunday 10th but he will come in in the 24th April where it will be the Romana Emiliano Romagna where he's going to show us what he is made of you know heroes take time before they peak and one thing about Lewis Hamilton the knight himself that guy he's an OG now, you should expect more from him. Now, moving on swiftly, on today's fun experience. Let me just tell you that uh, fun experience today is going to be slightly different because I was part of a stadium match and I was part of the fans there. And I decided that this is what is going to be your fun experience because I enjoyed seeing this particular match, Go Go Boys versus Kibra Youth. And one thing I must tell you about nowadays is that we are witnessing Gormaya, Go Go Boys versus Gormaya Youth. <laughs> I think I got that correct. Go Go Boys versus Gormaya Youth. It was a very beautiful encounter. And uh, the thing I was to point out earlier on is that uh, the Nairobi guys, uh, you have witnessed the solar that is coming in thick and fast. Yani solar in a choma kabisa. Now imagine a match being played at Camp Toyoyo. There is the turf. You footballers, or other people who like playing the five-a-side and also the seven-a-side football tournament, you just know the matters of the turf. Now, the turf is there, and you're playing football at 1 p.m. when the sun is scorching. Now, that was the situation on Saturday. Gogo -Go Boys versus Kibra Youth. And guess what? Gogo -Go Boys <laughs> played themselves out and played their hearts out. And this is what they had to do to sink down Gormaya Youth, two goals to nil. That has been an incredible first half of the Monday Night Sports so with me, Oronja Kusimba. Remember, you can be part of this lovely and beautiful airing by just liking, commenting, and also sharing through our YouTube channel and Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can get us through all those platforms at Switch Media and also my personal handles, Oronja Kusimba underscore, and let me know that there is a match at this specific point, there is a match at this specific place, and also this is some content that you all can use when it comes to fun experience. But right about now, we'll be taking a short commercial break, and when we'll be back, I'll be bringing you Daniel Sakari, the man himself from Karyobangi Sharks. This is the only footballer, the only footballer I think I will tell you after the break because they are very interesting facts about Daniel Sakari. So don't touch that dial. All right, we are back on course on Monday night. Sports with me, Oronje Kusimba. And remember, you can get us through our social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, and also Instagram, YouTube. 
at switch media across all social media platforms and my personal handle orange kusimba underscore meet me there tell me meet and greet to be precise and tell me what you think about monday night sports but for today tonight you can be part of this lovely airing by just trickling in your comments and telling me how you feel about uh, the past encounters and also the man himself today now imagine being in a position to be a player and you get called up on your first duty then that duty that you are called up for is to get the country into the afcon 2022 competition and guess what it's your birthday day and you've never played any serious international match how will it feel for you I'm talking about none other than Daniel Sakari, the man himself, joining me on set. Now, Daniel Sakari, yes. Mambo VP. Poor Sana. Yeah, how was it uh, your first encounter being called up? It's your first time in the national team, Harambe Stars. And I must say for a fact, I also did not expect you to perform the yeah. way you performed. Uh, uh, I was nervous at first, uh -huh. uh, but, uh, but then... Yeah, football is just football. When you're called upon, maybe you just go there, do your thing, you enjoy football, then whatever the result may be, that's for later. But you first go there for the passion, you enjoy yourself, then uh, that was it. Now, how was it? Because uh, they believed in you and they called you up for the right back position. Yeah. And we all know that Kenya was under pressure. The first person that you were going to meet in that specific encounter was Mo Salah and also Trezeguet. Yeah, yeah. How was it now? Uh, uh, on my side, I thought uh, maybe these people have, have seen them on the screens, have watched them, they play for EPL, uh, uh, good teams, Aston Villa and Liverpool, uh, good players. For, for me to gauge myself as a fullback, uh, I, I thought, man, man this, this is my time, this is my time. I have to go there, work hard, maybe uh, gauge myself with this one so that I know where I am. Mm. Yeah. Now, what was the feedback after that match? Uh, it was positive. I, 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 when I went to the room, I clapped for myself. I said, uh, I've done good. You uh, clapped for yourself? Yeah, but I your cla teammates who clapped for you. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I clapped for myself before I slept uh, mm. that day. Mm. It was also my birthday, remember? Yeah. yeah. The, the, that was what I was keen on. Yeah. Because I saw it was your birthday. Now, did that motivate you and boost your morale to another Yeah, it, it did. It did. Uh, before the game, before the game, actually, uh, uh, our coach then goes to Malay. Uh, uh, gave me a cake mm. uh, with the, the team. Game. Yeah, he presented me with a cake before the team ate. Then he told me, This is your day, man. So, Mlikula Kabla game? Tulikula Kabla game, bana. Cake, Ilikuja, eh? Tukakula, eh? Kochaka niambia, eh? Joe, no eat time yako. And I will find him yako. Now, let me take you back because I just saw something about you is that Daniel Sakari, by the way, mark my words, huh? what I'm going to say is going to shock you. Because Daniel Sakari has a degree in mathematics and statistics. <laughs> Something rare for a footballer. Now, he's going to tell us that in regards to his history. Because I think in my line of knowledge for footballers, you are part of the only footballer I know who mm. scored a, an A- minus in KCSE. And also 414 marks KCP. Mm. <laughs> eh, unajua kuanza kucheza ball yeah. eh, hii serious ni kitu sema sa professional uh, imekuja baadaye tukiwa tuseme kampo mm. eh, mst nilikuwa mst mm. imekuja baadaye ilikuwa second year i think yeah it was in second year eh, uko nyuma ilikuwa tu ni kitabu juu eh, mzae na mada jo ilikuwa tu ni kitabu kitabu labda kucheza hii ball ya pepa Eh, tunaita lifundo. <laughs> eh, tulu, hiyo tundo tulikuwa tunapiga. Eh, labda mtatu ile kidogo kidogo tu ya kupiga na wasewa wa kutoka sji side gani na hii side ingine. Hiyo tu. Eh, lakini ati tuseme tu sando hii nime, nime mwakucheza ball. Imekuwa campus. Ilikuwa second year tu kasema. Na uyo sasa eh, ni ukiwa most. Eh, ni kwa most. Timi ya tutu kasema tu yanzishe provincial league kanzi hapo sasa tuseme tu tucheze ligi nini game 1 game 2 game 3 tukaipandisha tuka kufika div div 1 hiyo time and eh, div 1 div 1 mm. tukaipandisha na, na sasa mm. how did you end up playing for the green commandos because green commandos is also in kakamega 
but yeah. uh, it's a uh, Kakamega school near Kakamega school si ndio yeah. na sasa wewe you are player at Masinde Muliro now explain to us that relation eh sasa ikapata sasa after kupandisha team ilikuwa deck na kumbuka eh kuka kuwa na trials green commandos eh kuna mjama fulani hapo wangu anaitwa Gasamizo kanikujia kaniambia eh jo kuna trials green commandos wanataka ku recruit wase wase wa nje wata mix na na players must study tucheze hii league juu alikuwa amepanda NSL ah tukajipeleka tukaenda huko tukasema hata itakuwa fit juu tunapiga NSL bado Daro ni hapo karibu Musi tunajua ni karibu na ni yeah. eh yeah, na Green Commandos hapo tuni karibu tuna train tunarudi Daro wewe unafanya mambo yako mm. eh yeah. then i saw that kulikuwa na sign on fee ya 25000 eh yeah, bana kutoka Green Commandos kwenda kaka mega homeboys eh yeah, a hooping 25k <laughs> <laughs> Who be 25? Yes. Mbona unaita 25 and why was it low at that time and what exactly did you benefit from it? Kwa sababu 25 years kwa comrade manze 25 ilikuwa poa. Oh comrade you were yeah. still in school at yeah, that time. Yeah, I was a comrade. Hiyo mm. ni system iko sawa, check eh, alafu nyama kuota jo check. So ulinunua radio? Eh eh ni <laughs> Ampex bana. Nipi Ampex? <laughs> Ampex. Eh. 25 Gs. Eh. That was your sign on fee. Eh. Kuenda kaka mega homeboys. Kuenda kaka mega homeboys. Mm. Mm. Na sasa kaka mega homeboys stay yako ilikuwaaje sasa? Explain to us the transition of kaka mega homeboys now we are seeing you at Kishax now. Yeah. Ah mm. uh, stay yangu catch kaka mega homeboys ilikuwa smooth juu nilikuwa nimezoea environment from from most green commandos kaka mega homeboys the just around nilikuwa nimezoea environment ilikuwa poa eh, sando yoni kaingia hapo kulikuwa na coach nkata i think you know him mm-hmm. from uganda eh akanipea pia motivation akaniambia eh nimekuchukua wewe piga ngo piga ngo ma nimekucheki eh na pia coach omkuya mm-hmm. eh, mimi kaingia hapo eh, kimchezo tu hiyo time kulikuwa na kinawanga kinandika eh manze ani watu pia nilikuwa ngatu naona And, and, and that was the season where Wanga was doing incredibly well at uh, Kaka Mega Homeboys yeah. banging in goals out left right and center yeah. alikuwa top scorer alikuwa top scorer mm. eh yeah. so mimi nimeingia hivi sana cheza nayo hiyo time feeling fit nikasema eh hey, nikajijaza nikasema acha nicheze pia yeah. mm. na hiyo full back kulikuwa na veto hapo alikuwa anaitwa Mauda Mauda eh yeah. Mauda alikuwa ameipiga piga pia anapiga left right anapiga juu mida kiweko anapiga <laughs> sasa hiyo tu kwa position moja na yeye mm. pia akaniambia tu kijana wewe we piga yako mm. kwa sawa eh <laughs> tupatane mbele eh, game one, mm. KCB homeboys mm. eh bukungu mm-hmm. one nil nipiga clean sheet jo mm. game one. game one. Eh. now what was your first goal first goal ilikuwa against tasca ilikuwa against tasca against tasca eh, hapo bukungu tu bado ukiwa kaka mega homeboys yeah tulipigwa 3 one. Mm. yeah Alafu sasa because if we can fast track that particular season hapo yeah. ndio ulienda season mzima ukaitwa pale Kishax sivyo yeah, yeah. na kuitwa Kishax you joined Kishax a week after wamecheza na Everton ulifilaje kuhusu hiyo story eh mzee nilifeel hata ningekuja mapema <laughs> pia mimi nipate hiyo feeling ya kucheza na Everton mm. eh, lakini ndio hivyo nikasema eh zitakuja tu kwa mbele mm. eh hata labda hiyo Everton ndio naenda next yeah. unajua eh, kabisa eh. and now explain to us because mm. we've talked about the sign of fee, sign on fee being yeah. 25000 yeah. now this is a man who was signed with 25000 ametoka pale Kishax mm. ametoka kaka mega homeboys now he's at Kishax did the sign on fee increase na pia pesa yenyewe alikupatia did it increase to a certain kind of level Yeah it increased mm. it increased uh, maybe maybe more than double let me say more that. than double <laughs> mm. more than double mm. nikasema ah yuko poa tunaenda tukipanda pia mm. unajua eh uh, see i'm not the same player mwenye nili sign from green commandos to homeboys mwenye na sign from homeboys to k sharks mm. at least nimepata experience ya league and uh, uh, experience wise pia nime nimejijenga mm. unajua eh Okay now let me just ask you a question which uh, I said I must ask a specific footballer that I will interview yeah. na when you nimepata you are the right one for this yeah. you scored an A minus yeah. ukapata degree ya mathematics and statistics yeah, yeah. sivyo yeah. now how is it being in a career that most of the guys say that footballers see what wakusoma because if you look at the history of most footballers yeah. it say that they dropped out of school or rather they decided to focus on 
football and football alone. Now this is an unusual case. It's actually abnormal. Now explain to us, tuambie tu ni vipi una balance ball professional football that mm. is because you play the top tier league in Kenya yeah. and also you being a mathematician. Hesabu ndio unachora pale kwa kwa grau ukipiga cross ukileta 45 kidogo unajua sahi personally i think uh, tumefika time footballers pia wameanza ku change mm. si ile narrative imekuaga uh, sahi watu wameanza kusoma by the way mm. watu wameanza kusoma so kulingana na mimi venye na kuwa gapo grau mi uko tu mimi kwa mse simple acha ni sema hivyo si ati najisifu <laughs> mimi kwa mse mse simple mm -hmm. okay nikienda grau ni mambo ya grau tu mimi udu eh yeah. yeah. does it matter ati sijui wewe amefanya degree au wewe hajafanya wewe alifika class A takufika form 4 nini mimi mm -hmm. weka tu hivyo yani tuna na, ni wachezaji hiyo time we are players eh muji mm -hmm. katuko ya position and at some any given point umwahi tumia degree yako unajua tunasema sahi bado unakulia futa mm. sasa umwahi cho mwa degree yako ukaitumia sasa just to earn what you're getting in a year's time mm. i will in a year's time yeah. then i also had something and uh, it was uh, going by it was like a rumor yeah. now can you like demystify about it we mwenyewe utueleze because uh, you mentioned earlier on in some interviews that you talked to your dad and you guys made an agreement that uh, daddy nikimaliza kupata hii degree ni sipoenda maju nita focus sasa kwa hii mambo ya shule eh, what eh. was it uh, before i, I joined uh, kakamega homeboys uh, my dad was against it mm. uh, juu alikuwa anajua maybe nikianza kucheza ball nitasahau mambo ya kitabu nini uh, sasa nikasema wacha nimalize hii degree basi tukamaliza ndo hiyo time nilikuwa natoka homeboys nikikuja sharks nilikuwa nishaua ndo tuka tukapiga story na yeye tukakaa tu chini eh, akani nikamwambia yenyewe inafanya ifuate hii degree wewe umefanya part yako mimi nifikisha hapo for the year ndo hii nimeua ndo hii degree wacha ni ifuate ball kidogo for maybe five years eh, minimum a uh, maximum maximum five years eh. so i'm remaining with a year Mm. Eh, kama stand up maju eh. then narudi sasa degree ndo maana nimekwambia ina yes time eh, umeongelea maju because eh. what you played eh, ile mechi ulicheza pale kasa that was mm. incredible mm. au kupata phone calls after that match watu wakikuambia eh we ni player ama agents wana ku scout ama nini after that match because you were incredibly well mm. eh, social you. media ilikuwa inalipuka everyone anakusifia au kupata mm. phone calls after hapo ah, zilikuwa zilikuwa mm. Mm, zilikuwa then why didn't you hit to them Ah, uh, don't worry. Just <laughs> wait. They are coming. They are coming back. Sasa tu tuongelee sasa size. Yeah. Because you are playing, unachezea, unapigia sasa Tasker. Mhm. Mm Unafilaje sasa kukuwa na champions pale and will you like retain the league? Tuambie kambi ya Tasker iko aje kwako mnafilaje? Una feel ni kama Tasker ita retain Kenya Premier League? Eh tunaenda ku retain. Mm. Tunaenda ku retain. Alafu huko join Champions pia una feel ka champion unasikia eh we ni champion juu ase wamekuwa hapo pia ni ma champions na cheki eh, so ni venye nime join eh, kitu ya kwanza nataka kuwa kuambia kuambia kukwambia mm -hmm. eh, nime nime nimewapata kawa wako na hiyo cup mm -hmm. so inafaa ni, ni wasaidie ku retain mm -hmm. so hiyo eh, ndo first target kwanza season ikianza venye ilianza ili fatu nisaidie team kwanza i retain title ndo sasa mimi niende zangu labda ni sema nimepiga assist ngapi clean sheet ngapi mm. bao ngapi na sasa mm. because any matter yenye iko itching sana you mm. as a rambe stars right back over there yeah. and also as a tasker player yeah. unajua sasa hizi tumepigwa ban mm -hmm. as a nation una filaje kukuwa kai kwa hiyo ban because you you can't go anywhere as a player so it hinders your dream yeah. kwa sababu unajua umeniambia mlikuwa na covenant na mzae mm. that usipoenda majuu utabaki usome. Yeah. So nitakuwa safe kusema utabaki tu usome kwa sababu tuko kwa ban. <laughs> ah, mwaka moja mm. juu ni, ni ban lakini suspension pia mm -hmm. ni indefinite. Mm. Labda tunaweza mka kesho aseme imeisha mm. na ndio mimi nimesonga. <laughs> yeah. Lakini sasa una filaje kuhusu hiyo suspension the ban itself. Uh, kama mchezaji yenyewe na feel vibaya juu nilikuwa na dreams inafaa nitoke mm. Kenya. Eh, lakini sasa hiyo pia ina imehinda sasa ndo hivyo ni i feel bad i feel bad about mm. it yeah 
na sasa maybe just explain to yeah. us your routine kwa sababu unajua saa hizi tumekula hiyo bandi yeah. sasa explain to us your routine mm. as a player kwa sababu unajua watu wengi and most of the viewers back at home think that uh, these footballers have just quit yeah. and they are still staying at home ati wanacheza tu ile mpira ya mtaa ile court biro ya huko kwao <laughs> so tueleze tu yani mm. can you just explain to us in a nutshell how your daily routine is as a player and also your fellow players Uh, unasikia nga kuweka sijui nita kwa, kwa sikio mm. ndio hiyo sasa mi nimeona ni ashum historia iko okay iko lakini haiko mi na work venye nilikuwa na work eh hizi ni vitu watu hizi control ka players una get so si tunaendelea tu kwa okay personally mi naendelea kwa najua sizi control lakini kuna kuna mali nenda kuwa sawa so mi naendelea tu kwa hard najua ina jipa hapa mbele Huh? Mm. Okay and uh, just to put you into test you know yeah. it was like last week I hosted that is Jeff Okwach and he mentioned about him side hustling in as a musician and the other time we also hosted a very good athlete 100 meter sprinter Tyson Juma yeah. and he mentioned that he's also a dog keeper mm. now labda we sakari uambie wa Kenya what is your side hustle now far from football because uh, you know most of the people are really interested in knowing sisi vijana wenye tumeshika is is story of sports mm. are we benefiting out of it or rather is there something that we can just peel in out of it i'm a full sports person mm. uh, um i deal in sports goods and uh, mm. i sell boots the uh, sports related the the armbands ni armbands za nini the therabands i sell those mm. yeah watu wanaweza kupata wapi in case uh, there is a customer now maybe watching us yeah. and uh, labda anataka kununua hizo maambans anataka kununua pia boots anataka kununua the sporting attire yeah. akupate wapi angalia pale umwambie yeah on instagram you will get us at uh, badrudin badrudin uh, sports house then uh, uh, facebook still badrudin sports house uh, I think that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Na sasa final word kwa fans wako, mm. fans wa Daniel Sakari. And by the way, are you related to Steven Sakari, who player wa Mwamba na uh, player wa Cabras, mwenye alikuwa huko Mwamba, Steven Sakari and Steve Sikuta. Uh, <laughs> skuta ni best yangu ni best yako eh mbaya so I'm correlated lakini ni best yako mnajuana ningekuuliza kwa sababu nyi wote sasa ni watu wa sports ningewauliza sasa but uh, ame demystify amesema they are not relatives but they are friends with scubes mwenyewe mm. so maybe just tell a word to your fans the people who saw you playing for Kenya the qualifiers against yeah. Kenya Egypt that uh, unfortunately we didn't get to be part of the 2022 Afcon mm. uh, championships and uh, just tell them what next for Steven Sakari tukutarajie pale right back ama labda utarudi with a bang wa mweni striker <laughs> tell yeah. us something I'll, Daniel Sakari yeah you? I'll tell them uh, I'm still young sweet 16 man mm. uh, I still have many years to play mm. so I'll be back there I'll be back there mm. uh, Ah yeah that's it uh, you got it from the man himself Daniel Sakari having moved all the way from uh, being a student at Maseno school all the way going into Masinde Muliro University of Science and Technology Kaka Mega Homeboys Kario Bangi Sharks and now Tasca defending football Kenya Premier League title holders and he told us that he was taken specifically to help the club retain that specific title from me here nothing much but just to wish him nothing but the best in his future endeavors that has been Monday night sports so with me Oronje Kusimba remember we told you earlier on you can get us through our social media platforms at Twitter Instagram and also Facebook Switch TV me switch media that is uh, i beg your pardon switch media that is and also my personal handles oronje kusimba underscore and let us get interactive as possible when next week comes we are going to monitor the weekend and the week in regards to sports and i'm going to be here same place same time to tell you what is in the sporting world oronje kusimba signing out